welcome to this Microsoft Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to develop a comprehensive understanding about lists. Bulleted and numbered list can be used in your document to outline, arrange and emphasize text. In this lesson, we will learn how to modify existing bullets, insert new bullets, select symbols as a bullet and format multi-level lists. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. First we are going to create a bulleted list. For this purpose I have to select the text that I want to format as list. Then on the home tab click the drop down arrow next to the bullets command and a menu of bullet style will appear. Here move your mouse over the various bullet style, a live preview of the bullet style will appear in the document. Select the bullet style that you want to use. The text will be formatted as bulleted text. Now we are going to learn about different options for working with lists. To remove numbers or bullet from a list, first we have to select the list i will again go to the bullet command under the home tab and here i will select none the bulleted list will be removed to revert these changes i'm going to press ctrl z when you are editing a list you can press enter to start a new line and the new line will automatically have a bullet or number when you have reached the end of your list press enter twice to return to the normal formatting you can customize the indenting of your list and distance between the text and the bullet or number by dragging the indent marker on the rulers. Now we are going to learn how we can create a numbered list. When you need to organize text into a numbered list, Word offers several number options. You can format your list with numbers, letters or Roman numericals. First we have to select the text that we want to format as list. Then on the home tab click the drop down arrow next to the numbering command. A menu of numbering style will appear. Move the mouse over the various numbering style. A live preview of the numbering style will appear in the document. Select the numbering style that you want to use. The text will be formatted as numbered list. Now if you want to restart the numbering of a list, Word has a restart at one option. It can be applied to numeric and alphabetic list as well. For this purpose we have to right click the list item you want to restart the numbering for. Then select restart at one from the menu that appears. The list numbering will restart from 1. You can also set a list to continue numbering from the previous list. To do this, right click and then select continue numbering. Now we are going to learn how we can customize bullets. Customizing the look of the bullet in your list can help you emphasize certain list items and personalize the design of your list. Word allow you to format bullets in a variety of ways. You can use symbols and different colors or even upload a picture as a bullet. To use a symbol as a bullet, first we have to select the text. Then under the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the bullet command, select the define bullet from the drop down menu. The define new bullet dialog box will appear. Click the symbol button. The symbol dialog box will appear. We can select any symbol and then click OK. The symbol will appear in the bullet list. Now we are going to learn how we can change the color of the bullet. 
For this purpose, again we have to select our list. Then under the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the bullet command and select define new bullet from the drop down menu. The define new bullet dialog box will appear, click the font button. The font dialog box will appear, select the desired color and then click OK. The bulleted color will appear in the preview section of the define new bullet dialog box. Here again I have to click OK. The bullet color will change in the list. Now we are going to learn how we can develop a multi-level list. Multi-level lists allow you to create outlines with multiple levels. Any bulleted or numbered list can be turned into multi-level list by using the tab key. To create a multi-level list, first we have to place the insertion point at the beginning of the line that you want to move. And then we have to press the tab key. To increase the indent of the line, the line will move to the right. Increase or decrease an indent level, we can make adjustment to the organization level of the multi-level list by increasing or decreasing the indent level. There are several ways to change the indent level. To increase the indent by more than one level, place the insertion point at the beginning of the line and then press the tab key until the desired level is reached. To decrease the indent level, place the insertion point at the beginning of that line and then hold the shift key and press tab key. You can also increase or decrease the levels of the text by placing the insertion point anywhere in the line and clicking the increase indent or decrease indent command. When formatting a multi-level list, Word will use the default bullet style. To change the style of the multi-level list, select the list and then click multi-level list command from the home tab. Here you can select any of the given style. I hope you understand all the concepts of listing in the Word. If you have any question, please drop it in the comments below. If you like our video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Microsoft Word tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.